Each lineman here has two sets of gloves. I mean, this is actually where the rubber meets the road per se, is, is rubber gloves is number one. That's your primary insulation is, is your gloves. We air test our gloves, uh, but this tests for like ozone cracking and, and damage uh, when the gloves are stored. They pass that test, we wash them. Then after we're washed and dried, we put them in this machine. We hang all the gloves here. It'll test six pairs of gloves at a time. So all these gloves have been out in the field. They've run their six month course and they're back in now to be tested. There's electrodes here that drop down into the glove. And when you lower that, the light comes on saying that you're testing that position. So we're gonna hit start. It fills it full of water. It will drop the gloves in, close this door. The water in the tank is grounded. So this electrode is checking voltage inside the glove versus outside the glove. And this is isolated with the 50,000 volts of DC current inside the glove. If one of these gloves fail, this red light will flash wherever the bad glove is. The machine will shut down, lower the voltage, ground everything out, and that way I can pull the bad glove out. If they pass, we wash them again, dry them, and then we go through the procedure of labeling them that they've been uh, tested, and they're put back on the shelf for when the linemen need them again at the next interval. Chances are, even if you had a minute pinhole in your glove, you might not catch that. This machine, it won't pass if it's got a pinhole. This machine will find it.